Hey guys, welcome to the monthly general reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius, please? Messages you have for Aquarius, April 2020. powerful Aquarius between death and judgment. There's an ending here, possibly the ending of a painful cycle. Look at this, three major arcanas with judgment, the star, hope and renewal. So I'm feeling like there's been an ending here for you, a period of difficulty that's finally coming to rest. Big choices and decisions are happening. What else for Aquarius, please? Judgment usually entails major life decisions. Look at this. A lot of major arcanas, so this is a huge change in transition for you. When major arcanas appear in a reading, um, typically that represents some big stage in your life. All right, what else for Aquarius, please? Wheel of Fortune, very nice energy with a star. What else does Aquarius need to hear? Lots of swords here, lots of air energy. Wow, you've got tons of swords here. <laughs> okay, so definitely needing to go within with the Hermit card. Find your way, meditation. There's a lot of stress showing up here for those that are currently going through that. What is the most important message, please, for Aquarius? Most important message. Wow, there's tons of swords cards here. All right, page of swords. I'm not surprised um, for Aquarius being an air sign, ruling the mind, um, thoughts with that air energy. So page of swords, with this message here, dot all your I's, cross all your T's. Um, communication needing to happen, but the Page of Swords is saying possibly this could be some immature stuff going on. Mind games, egotistical behavior, um, talking behind someone's back kind of energy, being sly about things. So someone here could be playing mind games. Um, but with the Page of Swords too, it also rules documents, contracts, things like that. So definitely, like I said, dot all your I's, cross all your T's with the Page of Swords. Um, we have a huge transition here. I feel like there's an unknown energy for you at this time. There's a fear in this, a worry of what's going to happen. With the Page of Swords, if you notice, it's a little bit tumultuous. It looks windy, breezy, there's a lot of clouds, a little bit of a storm here that you may be dealing with in your life. Um, this partly could be due to what is going on with this whole pandemic with the corona. So... Um, Take this as it resonates with you, but death, this huge ending, transformation, something or someone leaving your life. Death is a time of transition. Um, old ways are never going to be the same, and that is happening on a collective level. So we're probably going to see the death card come up for a lot of people here. Um, but with the death, there is this massive transition and transformation happening. And Ten of Swords represents a cycle that needs to end with swords, thoughts, fears, worries, concerns. Um, there's this massive end of this cycle between that and we have judgment. Judgment represents typically a rebirth. It can represent major life decisions and changes that are happening for you. You may be at a crossroads in your life. You may be ready to make a big change. If you've gone through a period of difficulty for quite some time, this could go back years, judgment represents being reborn again. So death and rebirth is a huge theme here. And we have you, Aquarius. We have the star card right here. So with the star card, hope and renewal. Feeling a sense of hope and renewal. Focusing on hope and renewal. If you're going through a difficult time, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, you definitely need to focus on the positives 
versus the negatives. So pour your energy, redirect your energy into positives versus negatives. Um, during Aries season, for you, that's going to be your third house of communication, short-term travel through the area, maybe feeling a bit confined because of what's happening right now. Communication could be off, as I mentioned. There's a lot of swords cards here. So with all these swords cards, communication and all of that, there could be a struggle at this point in time. Not knowing what's going to happen, a lot of fear. But the Wheel of Fortune does represent the wheel is turning for you, okay? So things are starting to move forward. It could be a very slow process. A lot of this could be going on behind the scenes, I feel. So during Aries season, then we're going to be transitioning in April to Taurus season and moving from your third house to your fourth house of home, family, and roots. You could even be going through changes within the family, maybe even suffered a loss recently with the death card in Ten of Swords and Judgment. That can show up when you suffer a major loss. Someone you love, maybe. Someone you are close to. But with the Wheel of Fortune, things are starting to turn. There is a new cycle that is happening here. Um, we've got this Nine of Swords underneath the Ten. So there's a lot of this anxiety. Mind's always working. Shutting off your mind right now may be the best thing for you. Not completely, but shutting off your mind in terms of meditation versus worry. Every time you start feeling that sense of worry coming in, calming yourself, imagining a white light of protection because that Nine of Swords is focused on fear, worry, being up at night. We have this Two of Swords energy, blocking something out. Um, someone here may be not seeing things for what they really are or seeing the truth in the matter when the Two of Swords comes up. Someone blocking their heart, feeling stuck at a crossroads, not sure what decision to make. With that being said, if there is something that's been stalled, the universe could be pushing this forward somehow with death, judgment, wheel of fortune. So once this dark period passes, you will be feeling this hope and renewal again. Eight of Swords, I mean, look at this. This is someone who's feeling stuck, feeling tied to a situation. If this is happening in the home front, needing to really find some time to meditate for yourself. Um, Eight of Swords, again, I'm feeling like there's a lack of communication here with somebody. This obviously could be on someone else's part. This could be someone that you are connected to. But look at all the blindfolds here between the Eight of Swords and Two of Swords. This is someone who is really in their head. And then we have the Hermit. So the Hermit is the sign of Virgo meditating, solitary. This is like solitary confinement right here with the hermit. Um, this period right now, you may need to take for yourself in order to heal or in order to see the truth in the matter somehow or somebody else see the truth of the matter during this time with the hermit. This card's also been coming up a lot. I'm not surprised with this shift in energy that is happening right now. There's a huge shift happening worldwide. So with the hermit card, this is time that needs to be used in order to grow and evolve spiritually with the Hermit. There's a lot of major arcanas here, so some big changes coming up. The Wheel of Fortune is saying, hang on tight. Things are going to be going to a slow roll, even if it's behind the scenes and you can't quite see it right now, like the Two of Swords. So let's take a look. What is this Death card representing for Aquarius, please? Clarify the Death card. And again, this could have been stuff that happened in the past um, for some of you. There's no specific time frame. So for some of you, you could have gone through this difficult period quite some time ago, starting to feel that hope and renewal. Others may be going through it right now. Let's clarify death, please. All right, yeah, we've got four of cups. So this is definitely someone who is just emotionally stuck with the Four of Cups. Someone who is really in their head, thinking about things, no movement right now, emotionally feeling very, very stuck and complacent with that Four of Cups. So 
someone here who maybe has been refusing to make changes may almost be like forced by the universe to make some changes with that four of cups you see that little cup with the offer there yet the person isn't even looking at it they're looking at all these other issues right now surrounding them so what i'm feeling like is somebody is very emotionally unavailable right now let's take a look at judgment they may be facing a major choice or a decision let's take a look at judgment yeah we've got the strength card another major arcana so strength the sign of leo Strength is needed at this time to pull through, maybe to make a choice or a decision to forge ahead. Um, strength represents compassion, vitality, so needing to gather all the strength at this time in order to move forward with this judgment. Um, there could be some truth coming out with judgment as well. All right, let's take a look at the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune... Yeah, we have the Five of Cups. Um, there's been a stall here. I think with this time period of what's happening, you're going to see a lot of things slow down collectively. So with the Five of Cups, you may be feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. But they are in the right timing or divine timing. The stall has to happen for some reason. You know, there's something here happening collectively. All right, let's take a look at the Hermit card now. Hermit, please. Really focusing on growing, evolving spiritually, seeing things from a different perspective with the Hermit. Yeah, there's a lot of healing happening. Temperance, moderation. Right now is a time of moderation, Aquarius. Not exactly the time to push forward. Um, Something here is slowing down for a reason. Maybe there's a review that needs to happen with the Page of Swords. As I mentioned, reviewing contracts, reviewing matters, um, dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's. Maybe you were jumping ahead before. Let's take a look. I want to pull a guidance card for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to hear, please? Yeah, look at this, the fates. All right, so the fates. Things are happening the way that they need to happen. Um, the situation that you currently are going through or recently went through, any kind of pain, all of this has happened to bring you down the path that you need to now go down. It's like you've been redirected with the fates. Um, things are very karmic with the fates card, a karmic situation that happened, an ending, a difficult cycle that was here to make you grow. But what's happening now showing up with the fates the slowdown that's happening um i feel like things are really shifting and so a lot of people are feeling the anxiety and stress and need to really slow down let's take a look whether this is your love life whether this is work yeah we have trust trust this process right now wherever this is happening in your life Okay, however this resonates with you, whether it's your work or a relationship, whatever matter it may be, trust in this process right now, needing to give up fear, worry, anxiety, everything is happening the way that it needs to in divine timing with this fates card. So there's a lot of major arcanas here. There's a lot that's bubbling under the surface, likely more to come out. Um, major transitions here that are happening. This could be a bit of a slower process or a slow down process, Aquarius. So definitely needing to trust in the timing of everything and trust the direction that this is going. The Wheel of Fortune will bring movement in divine timing when it is right. This is Jupiter. So um, Jupiter is like a year transit. So the sign that it stays in, it brings a slow slower process to everything so trusting in the timing of all this trusting what's happening right now big choices or decisions that maybe are coming to a head um whatever's ending or leaving your life being replaced by new energy that'll bring in hope and renewal and happiness and healing that's a major theme is healing with temperance the sign of sagittarius a lot of healing strengthening your connection to spirit meditation moderation right now aquarius I hope that you all have an amazing month ahead. Stay strong and stay positive. I wish you all the best, family, friends, anyone that you're close to. Um, and 
If you would like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram or book a private reading, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.